Now that we've had a fair understanding of what JavaScript is as a language, I'm gonna talk about why learn JavaScript. This day and age, what are we gaining by learning JavaScript? What are the different things you can do with the language? Well, there are two aspects to learning JavaScript. One is to do client-side web development. Like I said, JavaScript is very often used on the browser. So if you wanna build rich client-side applications on the user's browser, you can learn JavaScript and build that functionality on the browser, okay? So there are different ways in which you can do this. You can do this in native JavaScript, in which case you have pure JavaScript, no frameworks, you access a DOM tree and then you modify the page. You, had, you get rich functionality on the client side. You can do some basic stuff, but if you need something of a decent amount of complexity, this is really a hard thing to do, which is why there are frameworks that have come up. One of the most popular frameworks is jQuery. jQuery is again a framework that lets you modify the DOM tree on the client side so that you can build rich functionality on the client. So this is another reason why you'd wanna learn JavaScript because you need to know good JavaScript in order to write good jQuery. Or you can use one of these advanced client-side application frameworks. There are a lot of them today. There is AngularJS, there is React, Ember, Backbone. If you wanna build really advanced web applications on the client, you can use one of these frameworks and you can build them. And again, this uses JavaScript. So learning JavaScript would be the first step to learning one of these frameworks. So this is client-side web development. You can also do server-side development. This point wouldn't have shown up on this slide if I was giving this course, say, five years back, because server-side JavaScript is a fairly recent development. You must have heard of Node.js. This is one of the most popular uh, server-side frameworks. You know, it's, it's gaining in popularity recently. So you can build server-side applications just like you can build a Java EE application or a Ruby on Rails application or a C-sharp application on the server. So you essentially listen to user requests and generate web pages or generate a REST API response. And this happens on the server, right? You're using JavaScript to write server-side applications. Express is another framework which works with Node and you can build uh, server-side applications using that. Uh, there's also browser extensions that you can build with JavaScript. A lot of these browsers, like Firefox and Chrome, they have these concept of plugins or add-ons. You can download this add-on to your browser and extend the functionality of the browser. A lot of those add-ons are built using JavaScript. You can also build desktop applications with this. So there are some frameworks which let you build both desktop as well as mobile applications. And uh, JavaScript is actually gaining in popularity with uh, the IoT applications. This is not something which is really kind of matured at this point of time, as I'm recording this video, but there are applications uh, of JavaScript for uh, you know, these kind of devices. So this is, you know, in a nutshell, some of the reasons why you would wanna learn JavaScript. And this is also a list of the things you can do after learning JavaScript. Th these are some of the things you can learn and uh, you know, whatever you're interested in, that would be the next step in your learning journey of JavaScript.